Man, I used like three-fourths of a bag of clay just to show you guys me sucking. Dirty Potters, how are you today? This video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to let you guys see me on a bad day on the wheel. And when I say a bad day, I mean like a really bad day. Everything just stacked. And I want you guys to see this for a specific reason. Actually, I want you to see it for a couple of reasons. Number one, I want you guys to realize that out of the 100 times that I throw every single month, only five of those times are the times in which you're watching me throw on YouTube. And if I throw really, really good those five times, I'm going to show you those five times, but this is one of the instances where I want you to specifically see one of those awful times. And I'm doing this for a multitude of reasons, but one of them is that I want you guys to remember that each and every time you turn on a YouTube video, that person has crafted this video for you to learn a specific amount of information and see them in a specific way, shape, or form so that they can be more appeasing or at least get your attention and your eyes. And I don't really do that as much. I kind of turn on the camera, I don't even wedge my clay, and then I try and teach you guys whatever I teach you. So I think it's really fair to say that you guys have never really seen me try to throw on the wheel. You guys have just seen me like make cups and bowls and mess around. But if you think that horsehair pieces like this, that are very, very thin and very, very light actually as I hold it, happen by me just messing around on the wheel, you'd be mistaken. I actually tried to make this. I sat down, I wedged my clay, and I dried it out to how I like my clay, along with my preferred form of clay, not just any clay I got from any store, and I tried to make this. What was that? Was that a horsehair piece? Why is it called horsehair? It's a form of raccoon which you actually use real horsehair. You can Wikipedia that shit, now let's move on. And so that being said, I don't think you guys have ever actually seen me really throw. But I will also say that I think it's highly unrealistic to think that each and every time I get on the wheel, I do the most masterful work. And I was talking to a friend last night while I was play playing Destiny 2, and he was saying that he thinks it's massively unrealistic for YouTubers to show you the best light of themselves all the time, because then people expect the best of you all the time. But this is one of those videos where I don't want to show you guys me struggling, because I think it's highly unfair to turn the camera on only when I do good. And that's something that I want you guys to remember when you see other videos. When you see other YouTubers or other potters and you're like, oh man, they're so amazing. You have to remember that they chose to turn the camera on and then be amazing and try. But I, to be honest with you guys, I actually don't even script this stuff. I, most of the time I grab whatever soft clay is in the corner, most likely a clay body that I don't like, and then I just show you how to do a simple thing. And that's thing number one, I really want you guys to carry that with you. I really want you to know that when you watch a YouTube video, somebody meant to show you that side of them. But when I make a YouTube video, not saying that I'm super different because I do still alter and change some of my content around to better fit, my main goal is to try and help other people and let them see how to do something. My goal isn't to make you see me as an awesome person, my goal is to help you and then after that kind of mess around and have a little bit of fun. One day I'm going to make a video of me just flexing on you guys. But then if I do, you guys are going to expect me to do that all the time. So that's why I don't show you. <laughs> this is why I don't show you that. You know, as a human being, we all have bad days. And not every time I get on the wheel do I have a good day. You can ask the biggest names on YouTube and Clay. You can ask Tom Coleman. You can ask Stephen Hill. You can ask Hia Shing. You can ask Tim C. You, you can ask almost anybody who's a professional or at least tries to make a profession in their own field of artwork or at least some form of art. Not every day do you wake up and you have the most glorious good day. So what I wanted to show you was a video of me literally having a bad day on the wheel. Because, and this kind of goes for the second reason, if you tell everybody your secret, then nobody can hold it against you as a secret. And that's something that I kind of hold really close to my heart. You can't hurt me with information that I already gave everybody because everybody already knows. I think it's highly unrealistic for people to put videos on YouTube where they're throwing masterfully all the time because that's not realistic. You can ask any one of those potters, and I'm sure some potters will vouch for me in the comments down below, that not every day you get on the wheel is a magical, wonderful day where you're going to pop out the most masterful of work. We're not gods. I mean, even gods had bad days. Have you seen what they did to the dinosaurs? They're pretty much just shitty birds now. Nobody's going to get that, Dante. <laughs> Nobody's going to get that. 
And I think it's highly unrealistic for you guys to think of me as someone who gets on the wheel all the time and really pounds out masterwork. Because not only am I not a master, I'm still an apprentice and I'm still learning. I also want you guys to see me fail because it's super realistic. I want you guys to see that people who might be better or worse than you at a certain skill set, depending on who you are, also have bad days because we're human beings and that's just how being a human being works. You have good days, you have bad days. And I want you guys to really see me in the light of a bad day. The video you're about to watch is a video of me actually struggling on the wheel. You're gonna see lots of mistakes. You're gonna see me being a human being and I, and I really, really like that you guys have given me the opportunity to, to show you what it's like to see me fail. So without any further ado, this is me actually struggling on the wheel. I want you guys to literally see me having a hard time on the wheel.
I really need to start writing a script down before I turn on the camera because I never do. I always go off the seat of my pants. But to be honest with you, like, I'm yelling at the camera for two hours for you guys to watch like a 10 minute video. If I just planned things out before I did them, things would go much smoother, but I never do.